Today I'm meeting Robin. Apparently she has an 8,600 square foot home that was her father's. It's a big house, so I'm very curious to find out what's inside. How are you? It's 30 rooms and it's filled to capacity. I'm here to help. Okay. <laughs> this is the living room. My father bought this house so he could have a house to keep to all of his there. parents' things, all of his grandparents' things. This was my grandmother's phone. She loved her phone. Model is majesty. <laughs> that makes total sense. Well, you see, this is fabulous. This antique standing brass phone was one of the first things Robin's father purchased for his apartment when he moved to New York City. Telephone stands like this one were created to make phones more decorative and to be statement pieces unique to different rooms. Brass was often used because of the softness and malleability of the metal and because it best prevented sparks. Phones of this variety have been seen for between $150 and $300, and Kari expects it will be a hot sale item. And this is what would normally be the dining room. Are all the light fixtures going to be for sale, Robin? Uh, yes, he has them in every single room. People will come to the sale just for the chandeliers, especially crystal chandeliers. Robin's grandfather gave the first of their many chandeliers to his wife as a wedding gift when they moved into their first house. When these unique glass and crystal ceiling lights were passed down to Robin's father, he gave them prominent places in his house. When lighting sources changed from candles to gas in the 18th century, chandelier makers started using crystals since it was so effective at scattering light around a room. Depending on the size and clarity of the crystal, 20th century chandeliers like these can go for anywhere from $300 to $5,000. We can head upstairs. Okay, more rooms. <laughs> and I see another chandelier, Robin. And the giant elephant in the room. What's the story with this? <laughs> Oh, this was my dad's favorite chair. This appears to me like it could be, it's called Ames or Eames, however you want to say it. I've heard it both ways. They are the most replicated chair. <laughs> Classic icon of design. But there's a lot of reproductions out there. I would love somebody to get their expert eyes on it so they can tell us how to correctly price it. All right, Robin, I know there's a lot more to see. <laughs> Not only is this house big, it is full. Robin's dad collected anything and everything from clothing to furniture to artwork. This is a huge job. I'm going to bring back a large team. It's going to be a ginormous, amazing sale. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. We have extra help today. We've got Kyle and Beth from Repurpose Grand Rapids. Kyle and Beth have purchased a repurposed franchise, and they're here to see firsthand how we run estate sales. 30 rooms here, and every room has something in it. We just gotta dig in and get it done. Okay. Trousers. Let's just pick some great stuff and bring it upstairs. This chair, it's, it's Plycraft. They are known for the Bentwood chairs. Let's clean this up. Somebody will love it. It's mid-century modern. It's a project. I'm not afraid of some mold. This mid-20th century armchair is the very first piece of furniture Robin's father ever purchased when he moved into his New York apartment. The chair was built by the Plycraft Company and is made of leather and bent wood. Bent wood is a method of steaming wood, bending it, and letting it harden into curved shapes and patterns, and is most often used in the production of rocking chairs, cafe chairs, and high-end design pieces. Kari believes this stylish item will easily attract an interested collector. Oh, wow. Is that a jukebox? It is. Wow. It's completely gutted. What? Oh, oh that's dope. That's, that's awesome. That's rad. This would be cool just for a store display. Like, you, you clean this all up and put jewelry on the top. The coin-operated jukebox was invented in 1890 by Louis Glass and William Arnold by putting an Edison electric phonograph inside a decorated shell. During the height of its popularity in the mid-1950s, approximately 750,000 jukeboxes were in use right across America. Functioning jukeboxes have been seen at auction for $800 to $5,000, depending on condition and model. Since this jukebox is just a hollow shell, Kari imagines it'll fetch somewhere around $200.
Doesn't that look much better, Sydney? I think someone will actually buy it now. I think it has a chance. <laughs> yes. Okay, let's keep decluttering. All right. It's great to learn from Kari. She's the best, so. Yeah, she, learn she knows her. the business inside and out. I try to make everything look pretty so somebody yeah. can envision it. Mm -hmm. Does that usually help in the heck yeah? Okay. People will see the piece and go, oh, I can do that at right. home. Okay. This house is packed full of furniture, so it's going to take all the energy we've got to empty it out. And my estimate for this sale is eighteen to twenty thousand dollars. It's day one of the big thirty-room mansion estate sale. I think we're ready. I hope we're ready. I know the folks of mine are ready. It's been a long, uh, long night camping in the car. We had to get her on time. Trust me. Or I would have been way back there. I was lucky to get number eight. That's a good number. Let's open. First twenty-five. Good morning. There's three floors of treasures. This baby's coming home with me. It's the right shade of green. So, so. Kari, where are the bow and arrows? Right here. Okay. 65 for the bow and the arrows. Oh, yeah, it's really nice. Hello? Says it wants you to buy them. Um, yeah. That is nice. Where would you put it? Right next to the fireplace. Well, do you want me to put sold on this one? Yeah, I think we do. Awesome. First featured item to sell. Congratulations. Oh, All set? Thank, thank you very, very much. Very Enjoy. Enjoy. We sold the sweet stand-up telephone. Natalie was working her magic, and it went out the door. Day one of the mansion sale has started with a bang. The customers are pouring in and leaving with lots of amazing treasures. But there is still so much left to go. But first, Kari heads downtown to meet a furniture appraiser. Rachel Gergali is going to investigate the background of Robin's stylish modern lounger. Designer Charles Eames created this unique style of molded plywood and leather chair in 1956 after years of development. With the debut of this now iconic chair, Eames attempted to synthesize a particular kind of modern aesthetic with reliable comfort, a combination not frequently found in high design. In fact, his vision was for a chair with the warm, receptive look of a well-used first baseman's ball glove. Vintage Eames loungers and ottomans start at $950, depending on the year, condition, and type of wood. But Kari needs to confirm if this is a reproduction or the real deal. This lounge chair was my customer's father's favorite chair. They have done some things that are in the Eames classic standard. It is a five leg support and the ottoman will have four supports. Aren't most of the authentic lounge chairs marked? They'll have a tag? They are. And actually we have one that we just are gonna have up for auction. Let's compare them side by side. Okay. What you'll notice about authentic Eames chairs is the proportions, the back, both the head and neck support and the lower back support are of the same size, as are the seat and the ottoman cushion. And then you do have that nice welting along the armrests and along the other cushions as well. Let's take a look. And there's the important one. It's the Herman Miller. So what is the value of this lounge chair? At this current time, they're selling for between two and $3,000 at auction. And is the chair I brought authentic or a reproduction? Actually, it's a nice reproduction of an Eames lounge chair. So what would you value this chair in this condition? I would say something in the nature of three to $500. I think that's fair. I'm glad I came in to talk to Rachel about the chair. I don't think I'll have any problem selling this chair. It's a great reproduction. What's happening in Hi. here? Are you checking it out? I am. I'm interested in it. It's a little big, so I have to check size-wise. OK. Can I leave an offer on it? What are you thinking? I'm thinking more like maybe 130. It's pretty low. Yeah. This is a great <laughs> price, the way it's priced. If it's still here tomorrow, you know? Yeah, then we'll wheel and deal. OK, great. Sounds perfect. I'm holding out on this chair. I have to believe we can do better. 
I give him a good sign. Thank you very much. That's the five. That's his baby right there. Woo! How much? Because we, my husband can fit every suit in here. So how about you grab a pile and I'll give you a really good deal. Grab like seven of them and I'll do it for a uh, hundred bucks. How are you guys doing? Great, great, great. Checking it out? It's mm -hmm. a cool piece, isn't it? Yeah, it's all right. Kind of fun? This one's circa 1920s. Okay, okay. But this would actually be perfect for you guys because yeah, it's, it's a partner's cool. desk inkwell. Mm -hmm. So you'd sit on one each side. It'll be perfect for twins. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to add this to your collection yeah, too? Yeah, I'd love to. Yeah? All right, we've got 135 on this, 25. Okay, sounds good to me. You guys want to take them? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Sold? Yeah. All right. Easy yeah. enough. They've been collecting for a long time. I love young collectors. Seemed like a good price to me, so didn't really bother negotiating or anything. You need to sit in it. Is when it was made. Oh my god, it is really comfortable. Lean back. I know. Well, do you I would think clean? about it. And yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely, around. absolutely. There's a lot to look at. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty rooms, eight thousand square feet. You've got a ways to go. Yeah. So. It's gorgeous. I actually have two or three of these already assembled the style. It's an Italian style. Mm -hmm. uh, it's beautiful. Are you going to yeah. buy it? So how much is this going for? This beautiful chandelier would go for the lovely price of $275. That's a great. That's okay? Yeah, okay. that's an excellent price for me. Fantastic. Well, then it is definitely yours. Thank you. There's a beautiful Queen Anne desk that a lot of people are looking at, but no offers just yet. I've had a couple of bites on that jukebox. I would love to sell that today. It would fit perfectly in the basement. What are you guys thinking? Well, we have these items. OK. What's your offer? What are you thinking? I was thinking all of them for two. Everything for two? Correct. How about 225 and you've got a deal? Mm, 225 is pretty good. Okay. I guess I can do 225. Sweet. Oh, good. good. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Today was nonstop. We had furniture going out the door all day long. We did $12,839. An awesome day. We've got to rest up because it's going to be another busy day tomorrow. Before day two of the sale begins, Kari has gotten a lead from a client. So she's up bright and early and off with Natalie to investigate a local suburban basement. This looks amazing. Your goal is to sell it all. Sell it all so okay. my husband can finish his man cave. Have a look around and enjoy yourself. All right. Thanks, Kath. Let's dig in, Natalie. Oh, my gosh. It's like a candy store. Dude. I know. Kathy has the entire basement set up like a store. So we were like two little kids walking around, wanting to play dress up, touching everything. Oh, for your wedding. <laughs> no. Lots of sparkly. You want to look for a maker's name on the costume jewelry, because obviously that helps increase the price. Here's one right here. Figured, oh, you know. It's Capri. What do you think? How old do you think this is? I'd probably say like 40s. Maybe 50s. That's awesome. And this one I love. Look at that. Made out of British West Africa coins. Those are cool. That is really cool. Obviously, the jewelry is a winner. Mm-hmm. Oh, Natalie, you're so <gasps> sweet pants. I would so wear those. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can wear those home with all your jewels. <laughs> Just like this. I love it. I'm bringing plaid back. <laughs> You can tell Kathy has a wonderful eye for her pieces. There are so many amazing things down here. I was shocked by the amount. So what do you think, guys? We are in heaven right now. I am interested in buying out everything. Great. I'm thinking somewhere in the range of about 4,200. Mm. I was thinking a little more, maybe about 4,600. How about 4,500? We've got a deal. Deal. Deal? Deal. Awesome. Thank you. This was a fantastic buyout. Kathy has amazing pieces. A lot of it is going to go into the store. I'm really happy. After the basement buyout is complete, Kari and Natalie head back to the sale to help clear out some of the remaining key items. 
It's day two of the sale. We still have that really great mid-century modern bird's arm chair. We've got the writing desk. And the house is still full of chandeliers, clothing, and shoes. Those are 13. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Shiny, shiny. Polish it up like a red cherry. Sold? Sold. Awesome. Wait a minute. There's two pairs in there. Oh, I love that. Yes. $10 a pair. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can't believe that. I never hit the lottery, so that was the closest thing to going to heaven without dying. I felt blessed. You got some nice shoes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. How are you doing in here? Hi. I love this. Isn't it great? We have a recliner in our family room that I don't really love. I need my own chair then this would just be totally cool. It's a great chair. It's Plycraft, yeah. if you're familiar with that company. I want to buy this. All right, we're asking 200 I'm taking it home. I'm taking it home. Sold. All right, Sold it's yours. Room. Thank you. You're welcome. Very cool. What do you think? Can we handle this down the stairs? Yeah. Oh, are you? No idea. I had someone make me a much lower offer on the chair yesterday, but I stuck to my guns, and everything worked out. That's the one I was talking to you okay. about. Well, that's pretty killer. Hi, guys. Hi. Hi. Nice <laughs> to meet you. So are you thinking about taking this home? Oh, I yeah. Didn't like that. Can you tell us, are these glass or are they crystal? Well, they like well they're inside. definitely crystal. Really? I'll show you. If you feel the weight there. Feel the edges. Oh, yeah. Feel that here. Isn't that beautiful? What? So we've got yeah. 225 on mm -hmm. it. What do you think? Oh, I'm feeling 150. How about um, 185? Well, can yes. I take it home? Yes, you can take oh, it home. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's thank yours. You know. Hi. What's your bottom line? What are you thinking? 150. Can't go that low. Can't go that low. How about 250? I don't know. Can you think about it? Yeah. Okay. There's still a couple of hours left, and there's still a lineup outside. Kari's team has been hustling today, moving furniture, making deals, and taking care of customers. We still have that Eames reproduction chair. I would love to sell that. We've got the writer's desk. Got to go. But first, Kari steps away to her workshop to do some creative refurbishing with one of her newly acquired fabrics. Finding inspiration is really important when you're working on projects. I'm creating a little pin board today with some vintage fabric I found. That way, I can put this in my project area and be inspired every day. Constructing an inspiration board really is simple. I have a pre-cut piece of plywood. You can get this done at a local hardware store. I'm using a one and a half inch piece of foam. The plan will be to adhere the foam to the board. Cover the foam with fabric, staple it down, and it's ready for inspiration. I added a frame to the pin board and sectioned it off with some rope. I'm a hands-on person, so having an inspiration board where I can touch and feel different fabrics and see different combinations really helps me, and it was an inexpensive project. Is she trying to sell you on this desk? Yeah. Yes, I she hear. Is. I can put my hand on my Do you She's like this? Negotiator. I see. We think we like it. Okay. If you would uh, take 150 for it. How about 175? It is in great condition. What do you think, Steph? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a deal. Done. It's a deal. Sold. It's a deal. Sold. You're a good little negotiator. We have 275 on it. Okay. I know you had the foam as well for 40. Why don't we do 300 for the pair? All right. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Thanks. Two cameras. About 50 for both the cameras. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Kyle and Beth have been doing a great job at this sale, so I'm confident their repurposed franchise will be a huge success. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you think? You want to take it home? I think so. All right. We're asking 300. They made they made an offer. I'll, I'll make an offer at 225. 225. How about 250? 
I'm, I'm stuck I, on that number with this chair. And I can't do that. It's got a damage on it here. You know, that's kind of the kiss of death. You know? <laughs> I want to sell She's this. She's rooting chair. for you. Sold. Two twenty-five. Okay. It needs a new home. It needs a new home. It's yours. It's yours. There you go. Perfect. My favorite. This was an epic sale. Robin is going to be really happy. Oh my God. Hi. <gasps> How are you? I am so good. Is this my house? This is your house. We had a busy, busy couple of days. We sold so much stuff, Robin. Furniture went out the door. Chandeliers were a hit. The writer's desk, the blotter, the awesome stand-up phone. Wow. But I haven't even told you the big news yet. We did. $25,449. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs>